just the other day we got on the bus to manage with. All right. We don't need comments back. Suddenly, it's the start of the second week of second semester of your ninth and tenth grade years. For our seniors, the last four years have flown by very quickly. Before you know it, you will all be seniors. Their prairie experience has just a few months left before they will leave us. And that's exciting, that's scary, <laughs> um, but it's mostly exciting, right guys? They have learned a great deal here. They've changed tremendously. They've grown up, mostly. And they are ready for college. Pardon me. Mr. Gray said we need to say off this extension. Oh. <laughs> or we'll come back. So, okay. All right. They are so ready for college. Before they leave, they want to share a little bit about how they've been successful and what they've done with all of you so that you can get the most out of your prairie experience in the many days that you have left. Many of us have had great mentors and role models in our life. I'm sure you have. I've had many. They've taught me a lot, and they've helped me to be successful in so many walks of my life. In that regard, a few days ago, Mrs. McDonough and I were talking, and we asked the entire senior class to share their, if any of them would like to share their experiences at Prairie with you and give you some food for thought. We didn't select these students. They wanted to do this. They volunteered. They told us they would be happy to help you learn from their experience. They wanted to give you some food for thought. I think it's awfully nice of them to want to do this. And I hope you will listen carefully to what they have to say and perhaps leave this room with a few things to think about as you move forward. Okay, when you guys got my email a few days ago, why in the world did you say yes? What made you, I offered them the opportunity to come and talk to all the ninth and 10th grade and give them things to think about so that you could be successful, so that you could make the most out of prayer. 60 of the seniors didn't respond, you five did. Why did you want to do that? What did you want to maybe share with all of these guys as we move forward? Nathan, you want to start? Yeah. Um, first, uh, I wanted, first thing that popped into my mind when I got the email was uh, I thought back when I was a freshman uh, and how I would take advantage uh, of all the opportunities that I had uh, towards the beginning of the year when books were announced. Um, and they were asking, you know, come to this meeting and, and join. And I was just lazy and I didn't go. Uh, and I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, the other reason, too, uh, I wanted to talk about like, the importance of what classes you're taking uh, and kind of how to study and how to develop a work ethic that will make your junior year and your senior year a whole lot easier. So, yeah. um, I decided to do this because I've had such a great experience at Prairie. I came my first year as a freshman, and I had a choice to go to any school in your scene. And it was between here and St. Cats, and I'm so happy that I chose Prairie because I've had the best high school experience. Um, yeah, same for me. I came my freshman year, and um, I didn't do so well my freshman and sophomore year. I mean, I did okay, I guess, but like I didn't try as hard. And then my junior year, I decided like, yeah, it's like time to like step it up because I'm going to college. So I'm pretty much the same way, except I mean, I didn't do that badly my freshman and sophomore year, but it goes by really fast, and it doesn't feel like it now because you're just like at the beginning of it, but just if you don't pay attention and get ready for some things that are going to be coming up quickly, you're kind of just going to be blindsided and you're not going to be ready, and so we're just kind of here to tell you guys about some stuff that you should really be taking advantage of, especially with like our college counselors, they are, I know it's kind of annoying sometimes when they make a lot of announcements at morning meeting and it, you don't want to go to the college visits or whatever and you're just like, oh well, I have a study hall that hour so I 
I'd just rather sit and watch Netflix or whatever than talk to the college reps who come here. They, it's a really important thing because that's, I remember my freshman year, I wanted to go to uh, New York City and go to college for at either Columbia or NYU. And I went to the, I actually went and visited them and I realized that I hated it and it smelled like garbage and I didn't want to live there for four years. So it's really important that you take advantage of all the college opportunities that we, I know it sounds, you hear this all the time, but it's actually a really important thing. And even if you just go down to talk to Mrs. McDonough or Mrs. Wilson, you just, if you have a question about like, maybe what class should I take? Or like, I'm not really sure if I want to take AP World or something because I don't know how well I'm going to do it. They have great advice on how colleges view that. And it's really something that you guys should take advantage of. Um, I think a lot of my reasons are the same as Nathan's. Uh, I just want, to let you know that you guys should really explore your interests and um, you should learn like certain skills like learning how to talk to your teachers because if you go in and like talk with them and, and show that you're like putting in a lot of effort they could easily bump your grade up from like a B plus to an A minus uh, and it's really important when you go off to college because professors will do the same thing if you go into office hours so, yeah. also rec letters if you build relationships with your teachers they're a lot more likely to write you awesome rec letters College, which is like really important. So. A couple of you said you didn't do as well early on, or it was a tough transition to Prairie. Others of you have been pretty consistent over time. How do you think you are different from your ninth grade self? How have you changed since ninth grade, and how or why did that happen? On your part, on the part of Prairie, what did you do? How do you think you're different? How have you grown? What's changed for you since ninth grade and how did you make that happen? I, guess we'll start. Uh, I think one big thing is that I've become a lot better at managing my time because obviously with like junior and senior year there's a lot more work you have to do but yet I don't I'm not I don't necessarily feel overwhelmed and I think uh, I was just able to learn good study habits and now my time is managed pretty well and I don't really feel that stress especially with since I've like I just have a lot of colleges, it's just not that big of a deal. I'm the same way pretty much. Time management is a big thing. Freshman year you think you have a lot of homework and you like complain about, oh I have like homework in every single subject or whatever. But it's you don't really have that much homework. You just feel like you have that much homework and then once you hit like sophomore and junior year and you're like completely overwhelmed, you realize how you have to use your study halls and your comments and even like time in between classes, if you have like 10 minutes free at the end of a class and the teacher's done teaching, just study for a quiz or something, it actually, it all adds up. And going home and spending two hours on Snapchat before you start your homework is not the best idea. And once you get to junior and senior year, you will be very happy if you learn how to study skills and how to manage your time when you don't actually have that much work. Because then when you have like your junior thesis on top of like, a whole bunch of other homeworks and stuff. And then senior year when you have like applying to colleges and stuff, and you have to write like 30 essays for college applications and all that on top of your regular homework, you will be very happy that you learned how to manage your time when you didn't actually have that much to do. Um, yeah, I definitely agree with Nathan and Maya, but um, I also, or sorry, <laughs> Scott and Maya, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I learned how to study better because when I first came to Prairie, I didn't really know how to study for tests. So I like gained that skill. And also, I was really afraid to talk to my teachers sophomore and freshman year. So then the, I like realized like if you talk to them, like they'll be more understanding like for your work. Um, I think Prairie's taught me how to challenge myself because when I came, I came from a small Catholic school, St. Joe's, and coming from just that group of people to this group of people is so different. Our whole entire grade is filled with extremely smart people, and that was a bit overwhelming. But challenging myself freshman year in bio, and then going on to honors camp with Dr. Weaver the next year was super intimidating, but it was super satisfying when I got a good grade. And also, um, I can't stress enough how important it is to do well your freshman and sophomore year, because at the end of your junior year, you get a cumulative GPA of your freshman, sophomore, and senior year combined, and you need to send that to all your colleges.
notches, and even if you did really, really well your junior year, it can still bring it down. So it's really important that you focus to the freshman and sophomore year. Yeah, I think to tie into that, um, uh, yeah, grades are important freshman and sophomore year, and a big part of that, um, just kind of reiterating what they, reiterating what they said, but like going in and talking to your teachers is incredibly important. I hated doing that freshman year. Like, I was so afraid to go in and talk to my teachers, and I would always be like, oh, I can figure it out at home later, or like ask a friend, and it didn't always work out well, but learning how to talk to teachers has been incredible because, um, you know, the thing about grades, a teacher that you think is uh, is not that great of a teacher or the class is too hard, it, it's usually not the case. It's usually a problem. Like, you have to go in and talk to the teacher and say, like, I have a lot of stuff going on. Then you give them a couple of reasons why like, you can't turn this in on time. Could you give me an extended date? Or you can work things out with your teachers. So the teachers are never like, not negotiate with you. So uh, unless you're making like a, a habit out of it and like you know, if you're not sincere, that is a different issue. But you can always go in and talk to your teachers and ask uh, to work things out. Um, that should never be an excuse for like why you're not doing what you want to do in your class. Um, also, one thing I learned how to do freshman year uh, was to develop a work ethic that really helped. I remember sophomore year I took AP World History. Um, and I took, uh, we take chem uh, and Dr. Wheeler's English class. And I think I would say sophomore year was my hardest year because um, I didn't know how to write very well. We do a lot of writing at Prairie. We do a lot of writing in Dr. French's class. We do a lot of writing uh, junior and senior year. And uh, those two classes helped me develop like my writing skills and how to write an essay, how to write a timed essay, um, how to organized my essay, I was really bad at that. Um, so I would just stress like taking that those things seriously because it'll really pay off. Junior year was hard, but it was only hard because it was a lot of work. It wasn't hard because I didn't know how to do the work. And those are two very different things. Um, because it's much worse for your homework to be hard because you don't understand it and you, or you don't know how to approach it. Um, it's way easier when you have a lot of work and you know how to approach it. You're not going to be overwhelmed um, because you don't know how. So if you take your freshman and your sophomore year seriously, um, it's really going to pay off in that respect. You're going to find that the work you do junior and senior year uh, is actually going to be a lot more rewarding. You don't have to be thinking about how am I supposed to do this. You can actually be thinking about the material um, and just banging it out. If you know how to do it, that's really the secret. So we all have tough days, um, an assignment, a project, a class that we're not quite sure we're going to get through, or a bad experience that you don't want to go to school for tomorrow, uh, and we can't wait till that day's over. Has there been any, were there any particular distinct challenges like that, or a real hard thing you had to deal with here that you weren't looking forward to, or maybe where even failure occurred? And how 